Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds.
He's right. Time to get my shit together. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. I could use a Michael pep talk. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. What the? Probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. That was a good memory even though Tyler couldn't come. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here.
This is personal. I haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that I can't really eat anything right now. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My claim deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. So don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record.
Uh, Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? You swore, Allison. It's nothing. This is nothing. feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Secret keeper in her secret keep. No way. It worked. I wonder why it needed a coin. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night?
My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. What the? Hey. No, no, no. I cannot deal with you right now. phone here. God, where is it? What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file. Get dressed, and head out. Or, it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. I miss you, pup. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. This is a totally different life. <sighs> I've got enough time. Morning. 
Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tessa are legitimately concerned. Plus, a uh, door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying, I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know, I... I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. So, maybe this will cheer you up. 
I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? God, everything? My anxiety's through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Your alley. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I've looked into therapists a few times, but. They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. 
That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. I should grab a piece of... I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Nothing really. Just... Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. D looks pretty busy. Maybe I should just come back later. <laughs> yep. Wilson? Yeah, she's teacher's pet. You'll probably starve before she clocks out. I'll give her a few more minutes. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People come in and all... What are they talking about? They're talking about none of your business, young lady. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Eh, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Thank you. You can't imagine how many hours it's been on this case. I think I'll need to requisition your dog's kennel for the day, though. Sure, no problem. She doesn't care for it that much anyway. All right, I'll meet you no, outside I can in a minute. They're spying, right? Then we will proceed with the prisoner's case. Okay. I'll await further instructions in the parking lot. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? <sighs> Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. 
And guess who it was? Wait, huh? You know, the perp who's been going around stealing people's mail and dumping their packages into the snow. Anyway, Dr. Torres caught him. She's got him locked in a cage in the back of her SUV. Wait, she's got him where now? It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to get what we needed. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, you're not a troublemaker. Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Okay. <sighs> 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 
Just keep going. In and out. I've been here before. It'll end. It'll end. Wait, am I still breathing? Yes. I'm still breathing. Keep going. My heart's still racing. I think I need to just let go. What's happening? I'm so scared, Allison. Me too. I don't want to go. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But what if we get in trouble and then we both get Time sent away? Hey, Chief Brown, wait. I, uh, I went back to the house and got these three kids. They, uh, they wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. Uh, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. Oh, kids. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look. You're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying?
she... She was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I... I killed her! <laughs> I killed my mother! <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He... He went to Fireweed. We lied! We lied to everyone! could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. <laughs> should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you two. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I... I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. <laughs> 